Well, I am super excited to be here to accept this award on behalf of my entire family who came down with me today. We are incredibly humbled and honored to be recognized as recipients of the Leopold Award. First, we'd like to thank the Sand County Foundation and their partners for their support and dedication to continually improve conservation on working lands and for telling the many land ethics success stories of private landowners. Also, thank you to Kate with the Center for Rural Affairs who nominated us for this award. And thank you, Governor Ricketts, for your support of agriculture and stewardship in our state. Over the years, we've had the opportunity to meet and develop relationships with wonderful people from a variety of different places, diverse backgrounds, perspectives, and goals. Our ranch has certainly benefited from the positive and progressive conservation and agricultural communities and organizations here in Nebraska and beyond. We're so thankful they were willing to talk to us, to visit our ranch, learn about our family's vision, and offer their support, expertise, and insights to us. Nebraska benefits by individuals and organizations that are willing to sit down at the table together in a spirit of collaboration in order to further the good work being done on private lands. When I think about our family and the life we have together, living and working on the land that we cherish, I'm very humbled, especially when I think about the generations that have come before me for how hard they worked, knowing the next generations would reap the rewards of their labors instead of themselves. I'm truly thankful to my parents, Bruce and Sue Ann, for persevering and advancing their ranching business while raising my brother and I. And yes, I do blame them for my childhood, and it was wonderful. Thank you for instilling in us a love of the land, a strong work ethic, community mindfulness, and a drive to continually improve. I'm grateful for their willingness to try new ideas, to learn, to adapt, and for reminding us to laugh every day. Most importantly, they've taught us faith and family are the foundation of everything we do. I'm even thankful for my brother Adam, most days. Truly, I've never seen anyone work harder than he does. His dedication to our entire family's future is evident in everything he undertakes. His wife, Teresa, and my husband, Mark, may not have known exactly what they were getting into when they married into this family, but without their buy-in and support, we wouldn't have the quality of life that we enjoy. I'm extremely grateful we have the blessing of raising our kids on the ranch. Their daily involvement and excitement to be part of the family legacy is happiness and hope personified. I appreciate our rural communities, the small rural schools like Loop County, even though the kids aren't there today, they wanted to see the capital, and the small towns like Taylor and Burwell. By providing goods and services we need in rural areas, we are able to live on the land that we love and care for. I'm inspired and thankful for good neighbors, many families just like ours who work every day to provide the food and fiber our nation needs while becoming ever more efficient, resilient, and sustainable. When my brother and I wanted to come back to the family ranch, we weren't sure if it would be financially possible. But by diversifying our operation and finding additional revenue streams, we were able to fulfill our family goal of living and working on the land together. Conservation has been the key to our economic diversity. We believe everything has value. From every blade of grass to every tiny pollinator, from clean water to dark skies, from family traditions to new research, everything has value and has a worthy role to play. This ongoing process of awareness and discovery has taught us so very much. But all we've learned confirms our belief the healthier the natural resources are on our working lands, the greater opportunities we have to support life because land was meant to be alive. On our ranch in the Sand Hills, we get to witness the many little miracles of life every day and we never tire of it. 
We live in one of the last remaining native grasslands on Earth, and we work every day to conserve it by utilizing the forces that shaped it, grazing and fire. I love, love living in a grassland because I believe they are one of Earth's superheroes. The biodiversity and wildness they hold is only part of their story. Grasslands have superpowers, seemingly invisible processes that benefit us all. By keeping our streams, wetlands, and aquifer clean, sequestering and storing carbon, controlling erosion, pollination, these are just some of the ecological services delivered while providing essential habitat for countless migratory and resident species. The primary land use of grazing not only fulfills integral roles in the ecology of the prairie, which other species depend upon, but it also provides a livelihood to the families that live there. As long as families can make a living utilizing grazing as the main land use, our grasslands will remain viable, vibrant, and protected while being key contributors to our state's economic security. Even while the prairie turns out valuable products and services, grasslands also provide a place of refuge, of beauty, and of peace. A restorative landscape that encourages adventure as well as introspection. These superpowers are fueled by responsible stewardship. Stewardship by families like ours who understand land ownership and management are a privilege and a great responsibility. Families making stewardship decisions that are not always governed by the bottom line, but governed by the heart. Again, thank you very much for this award.